Hi, and welcome to the Beer Temple. I am Chris Quinn. I'm going to start today's episode kind of how I end a lot of uh, my episodes, which is by thanking people who come and just, well, just come and say hi or send me emails or, in this case, give me beer. Um, It's really just amazing how many people come by and give me beers just that they think are cool, uh, that they think I might enjoy, or that people here in the store might enjoy, uh, or that are from their local parts of the country or local part of the world. Uh, In this case, uh, I had um, a gentleman, uh, Serge, from uh, Brazil come by and uh, he had contacted me ahead of time and said he wanted to stop by. I had no idea he was going to uh, give me a couple beers, uh, but he did. A uh, very nice gentleman came with his uh, his lovely family. I've got a picture of him uh, right here. There he is with me and the beers that he gave me uh, from what he considers to be, uh, if not the, then one of the best breweries in Brazil. Um, it is, I was trying to look up a little bit of information about it. It is a Boda Brown Brewing. Both these are Boda Brown. Uh, this is their Wee Heavy, and this is their Paragosa line, I think, and maybe that's their Imperial line. Uh, this is their Imperial IPA. Um, <clears throat> just awesome stuff, things that do not make it into the United States. So just a great opportunity to try some beers from Brazil. I thought it would also be a good time to open up uh, one of the Brazilian beers that I carry in the store uh, from Colorado. <clears throat> Uh, not the state, the brewery from Brazil, and uh, just kind of celebrate the Brazilian craft beer scene. I don't know how much you guys uh, follow kind of the world beer scene, but I would say, um, you know, in terms of uh, emerging countries, after Italy, I would put Brazil next in terms of just buzz. You hear a lot about them. Um, Unlike Italy, and maybe this is because there's so many importers already going to Europe anyway, I don't know, I'm guessing, it's easier for them to kind of bring uh, some of the Italian stuff back. You do see more of the Italian beers in America. You see very little from Brazil. Uh, In fact, this one uh, has a a local Chicago connection, which is maybe why they are are here, at least in Chicago, if not the country in general. Um, But to get started, I'd like to try the um, the Wee Heavy start here with the ones that were gifted to me. Do I have a bottle cap opener? I'll use mine right here. So this is the Wee Heavy. Wee Heavy is a Scottish style of beer. Uh, I, From what I read a little bit about Brazilian beer, these sites were in uh, Portuguese, so I couldn't really read them. Um, they're using a lot of indigenous ingredients, certainly here with Colorado. Um, but they also, it's very expensive, I guess, for them to get hops because it's they aren't really grown anywhere or not in, in enough quantity uh, to supply the, the local market. So they have to import them. And, you know, that drives up the cost, uh, especially if you're using excessive amounts of hops. <clears throat> then... Uh, you know, they become pricey beer, so what they're trying to do is turn towards some more local ingredients. Uh, I thought it was kind of cool that, that they're doing a Wee Heavy, because the way Wee Heavy came about, <clears throat> or one of the reasons that these Scottish-style beers, these malt-driven beers, came to be, is because the price of hops were, well, hops aren't really grown locally in Scotland. They had to import them from the English. Uh, Don't know how much you know, but the Scottish and the English historically not the best of friends. A little movie called Braveheart you might want to check out. Um, So anyway, the Scottish, uh, in addition to, you know, uh, not really wanted to have anything to do with the English, uh, didn't really want to have to pay for hops, so they would do low hopped beers. makes sense that these guys would too. I love kind of natural circumstance driving beer style. I think that's really cool. I think that's always the way it's been done and I see no reason that it shouldn't continue uh, that way. I don't know why Brazil needs to be known for big crazy hops. I mean maybe they do but maybe they don't. Uh, Maybe they can be known for nice clean malt driven ales such as a Wee Heavy. Uh, Wee Heavy here, um, let's see, eight percent so very much in the wee heavy range. Uh, the beer is, you know, a nice brown color, good clarity, and nice foam there. 
very nice looking beer. And it definitely has a sweet caramel, almost a molasses note to it. A little bit more sugary, syrupy than uh, I would typically look for in a wee heavy from Scotland. Um, but not so much as a wee heavy from America. They tend to be a little bit sweeter here in America, I have found, generally. That said, really nice smelling. Almost a, a, a bit of like a maple note to it. Um, nice caramel toffee flavors here. Not a lot of hop character. A little bit of fruit here as well. Maybe like, um, not quite a raisin, maybe a golden raisin, something like that. Somebody's knocking at my door. Let me just make sure that I'm not late to open. No, I'm not. Um, hmm. Let me have another sip here. Clean beer, well-made beer. Really nice and drinkable. Mm. This is a really solid beer. Uh, if I ordered a Wee Heavy and was served with this, I'd say, you know, um, it, it certainly has that new world feel to it, uh, so to speak. I would say American feel to it, um, but uh, it's really nice. I get a really nice dark molasses flavor here um, that I like a lot. Um, almost like, um, like a nice, rich, sappy note to it. Um, pretty good stuff. Uh, I'll go 91 here with the Wee Heavy, and I am off to a good start here. I'm liking it. <clears throat> All right. I can hear those sales reps at my door. I can just hear them chatter, chatting with each other. Uh, they just sound like sales reps. Um, the next beer up is a 9.2% Imperial IPA from the same brewery. This is the Paragosa uh, Cerveja Imperial IPA. Um, no idea what that says. I don't speak Portuguese. Um, a little more cloudy, this one, than the Wee Heavy. Um, you know, kind of like an orange color. Um, yeah, a little bit muddied looking. Really nice, tiny, fine bubbles on here. Uh, solid looking beer. Ooh. Oh man, and it's this is a fresh beer. Thank you, Serge. It's got <clears throat> a candied orange thing. Um, have you ever had those candied oranges where you can actually eat the orange peel after it's been candied and it's sweet and fruity with a little bit of bite? That's kind of what I'm getting from this, this beer here. I'm getting both the malt and a, quite a bit of hops here. Very fruity hops. A little bit of that onion thing that I seem to get a lot. More like a sweet onion, a Vidalia caramelized onion. <clears throat> that I was getting in that spruce juice. Really nice. Oh, man. Lovely smelling beer here. And not like every other uh, double IPA. I'm not really getting any of the booze. I'm liking it. really get that piney or that fruity note in addition to a big sock of pine doesn't necessarily run um I have a little bit of that that spruce juice I mean it's not that piney it's also assertively bitter with a big malt backing but balanced um you couldn't have this much bitterness uh and really have it still be drinkable without so much malt here yeah. mm. Mm -mm. This is a really nice beer. Um, I'll go 93. It's well put together. It's got tons and tons of hop flavor. It's got tons of bitterness and tons of malt. It's well brewed. <clears throat> it's a clean beer. I really don't know what else you would ask for. Serge, thank you. Two for two. It, it, it's spelled as you would pronounce Sergio in uh, America. I hope I'm saying his name correctly. Please uh, feel free to leave a comment, Serge, if I'm not, and let me know. Um, but anyway, let me check my time one more time. I still got some time. Okay, so Colorado. Now these guys, uh, 
have a connection with Randy Mosher, who has done a lot of brewing consulting um, around the country, uh, certainly around Chicago, and uh, does actually a lot of logo design for beers. I've talked about it in the past. They've done Metropolitan. They do the brewery. They do um, many, many Two Brothers, and they've done some Three Floyds and a ton of stuff out there. And they've also done uh, the Beer Temple logo, and they also do uh, Colorado. And this birth, though, is uh, a brown ale with Brazil nuts. And I was talking about some of the local in, uh, <laughs> ingredients that Brazil has being been known to to use and according to Randy Mosher there's something ridiculous like a thousand dollars worth of Brazil nuts in every batch of this beer um, I had a sip of it a long time ago but I've never had it out of the bottle so this is gonna be great um, I hope so uh, a nice uh, kind of tawny um, uh, a little bit murky color here uh, kind of like a copper <clears throat> uh, bordering on orange a uh, nice little head here that's sticking around pretty well certainly a nuttiness and sweetness to it like a caramelized nut thing no real hot presence but big time nut I don't know if I'd pick out Brazil nut but I don't know if you cooked a bunch of Brazil nuts and put it into something I would necessarily pick out Brazil nut. And a little bit more of like a candied fruit thing, but not like the orange that was in here, more like a candied apple. Like that red stuff on a candy apple. Mm. A little bit lighter body than the last two. Um, ooh, really comes across in the mid palate with a big nutty note to it. Um, <clears throat> And what is this, 8%. So it's fairly dry for an 8% big brown ale. <clears throat> it's certainly drier than I thought it would be from the flavor or from the nose. And it's nice. I think it would go well with food. I don't quite like it as much as these. Unfortunately, this is what I'm selling. Uh, but I still like it quite a bit. <clears throat> I go 89 with this. Um, <clears throat> I do think in terms of like a nut brown, it's about as nutty uh, as it gets. And to be fair to me, uh, not my favorite, not to be fair to them, not necessarily my uh, favorite style of the brown ale, but well made and, and pretty nice stuff. So there you have it guys. Uh, I think I'm gonna go back to this one. Uh, just a hint because I want to leave some for people. Guys, as always, thank you so much. Thanks to everyone who does bring in beer. A lot of times, you know, we just open them right there and share it with everybody. Uh, you know, beer is meant to be shared. Um, I'm so glad that Serge and so many of you others have uh, shared beer so I can share it with the rest of you either, you know, via the show or just here in store. Um, thanks so much, guys. I always appreci all, appreciate all the comments and the emails and the feedback that you give me. I do listen to it. I do take it very seriously, so be gentle on me. It means a lot to me. Um, guys, thank you so much. Until next time, I've got some great beers from Brazil to drink, and hopefully you do too. Thanks, Serge.